as an interesting point. If you work in an underground laboratory where your boss or company is keeping boxes of ammunition, you know, you might you might take that as a little bit of a, a sign that something's up. Now here's our uh, second experimental item we're going to steal. They are a pair of night vision goggles. I don't think we actually get to... Oh, we could use them. Um, yeah, let's give that a shot. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, using them in bright lights kind of sucks. So I'm not going to do that again. Wipe her out. Oh, that didn't sound good. And I'm running out of ammo for my pistol, so I'm going to switch to our uh, Commipsos. Pull the plug on that now, please. Just don't hurt me. And what we're doing here is uh, threatening the scientists to make them shut down their experiments. And this is just basically just creating some chaos in the, the Datadyne labs and screwing with their work. Kind of a dick move, really. Who the hell are you? Switch this thing off. Allow me to assist you. So if you can't tell, this guy's kind of an asshole. Accidents will happen. <laughs> yeah, and if you actually leave him, he sets off an alarm. Now, the way this has worked in every lab, I haven't really shown it off, is that there are multiple computers. One of them, namely this one, will set off an alarm. One of them will shut down the experiment, and the other two are inactive. So what this guy does is show you which one is the alarm, and then you just test all the others. And I got it on my first try. So we get an objective complete. And for fun, if you look down here, we find a piece of cheese. Now, this was something rare through in. There's actually a piece of cheese in every single level in the game. And... The story is that they were supposed to be a collectible for cheats or something. But they they don't work like that. Now they're just there. I didn't show off the one in the first level because it's it's almost impossible to get to unless you're using an all guns cheat or do some crazy stuff. But it's there and I'll show it off in the next level because it's actually the same same piece of cheese. Hurry up and here's our little robot friend. And what he does is shuts down these laser grids for us. Now I'm lucky, I actually caught him going the right direction, which means I didn't have to wait for him. Sometimes you can get caught in this room and you have to sit and wait for him to come back the right direction. Kind of annoying, really. This is actually a really nice little lounge, considering this is a restricted area of an underground lab. It's got, you know, some nice couches, some potted plants, a little terrarium sort of thing with a pond. Actually, in lower difficulties, a shield shows up right here, and you can actually smash this pane of glass and get in here. They can't see if you have a reflection or not. Stupid plant. Um, anyway, we keep moving. We're getting we're getting down into the especially secret areas of this lab. That's the highest security sector. Dr. Carl has got to be nearby. I see. As uh, Dan Daniel Carrington decides to tell us. <laughs> so these guards have another new weapon on them. Another fairly high powered weapon. Which is the dragon assault rifle. So it's just another assault rifle, pretty pretty basic. It's it's pretty good. Now its secondary function is uh, is what makes this weapon especially cool. What you can do? Oh crap! Is throw it and turn it into a proximity mine, and it explodes. And the door here can make it explode. Now what I'm actually trying to do. I guess if you let the door go up all the way, you can't close it. 
manually. Um, this is a trap, basically. We're trying to get down into the highest security sector, but we need to hack this computer terminal. If we do that, we get ambushed. Oh, crap, they did it again. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Let's get a shot. Okay, it worked that time. So, we throw on our data uplink and start hacking the terminal. And we can use their own weapons against them. And we had a couple, uh, couple of troopers come in here to try and attack us from behind. So let's move on to use the K7 Avenger now. Here we are in Sector 4. Now this area is far different than the rest of the building, which is a little weird because you can only come in here in perfect agent. There's no reason to otherwise. But what we can see here is one of the things Perfect Dark is best known for, which is lighting. And it's incredibly harsh. The other thing it's well known for is that you can actually sort of destroy its lighting. It was advertised as sort of a a real-time lighting system. So as you can see, it got dark in here when I destroyed all the lights. Kinda cool, but it's mostly aesthetic. But here's our last experimental item, which is actually a shield technology. Uh, in lower difficulties, you can actually find a shield in every level, which, you know, acts as a shield for you. Uh, in Perfect Dark, it doesn't do that. And even finding this one on this level doesn't act like a shield for you. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is show off the threat detector. So you can see right there, there's three auto guns behind this big restricted door. So since I'm ready for them... Oh shit. Alright. Take out those two, and then grab the last one on the other side here. So, big blast door saying restricted. Three automatic turrets. There's gotta be something good behind this door. Let's go see what it is. Dr. Carroll? Dr. Carroll, are you here? Well? Are you afraid to come out? Yes, all clear. Very professionally done, my dear. But there's no time to waste. You must leave immediately. Come on! I have vital information. You must protect me. So that's right. Dr. Carroll is actually a flying laptop. And I really love uh, Joanna's little herp derp walk and look at the end of this mission. Anyway, mission complete. Took uh, 17 and a half minutes. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.